Welcome back everybody. So in this week's tutorial, we're going to learn about how to create a virtual environment using Anaconda and installing Dash by Plotly. Dash by Plotly will allow you to create interactive data visualization apps, dashboards, anything you want on the web using only Python. You can do it for research, uh, medical purposes, analytics, business analytics. It's a really cool software, but first we have to create a virtual environment. So we're going to use this, download this, it's right below the video, um, this Word document, and uh, we're actually going to open this up, and we're going to do this virtual environment using the Atom IDE. You don't have to use Atom IDE, you can use uh, Microsoft Visual, or you can use uh, PyCharm, or any other IDE that's out there. And we're actually using um, Anaconda. I'm not going to go over the installation of Anaconda, but if you want to see how to install Anaconda, there's a quick three-minute video up here. Click on the um, right side, right upper side of the video. You'll see uh, a video of how to install and um, um, use Anaconda, and you'll see another uh, video of how to install and use Atom if that's what you want to do. So just click on the upper right side of the um, uh, card on the video. Okay, so assuming you have all you need, assuming you have Anaconda, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is, number one, create a folder where you'd like to store your virtual environment documents. We're going to create one virtual environment today where we'll install Dash by Plotly and Pandas and other libraries, but maybe a week down the road, or six months from now, you want to create a different virtual environment. So you'll put all these virtual environments in this folder. It just makes things a bit more organized. So I'm going to go into dashboards, because dashboards where I'm going to create all my data visualizations and all my YouTube videos and whatever. So I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to create an environments folder. And this is where I'm going to put all the environments. Okay, so I created it. We're not going to need this anymore because it shows up here in my Atom IDE. Dashboards and environments. Okay, so now I'm going to open Atom, which I already have. It's this IDE on my left. And I'm going to go into the folder. So now let's go CD. Um, dashboard is the first folder. And then the second one, what, environments. Perfect. And then I'm going to create a new document inside this folder and save it as any, any name I want to save it as, dot .yml. This is very important. Here we are creating all the requirements that we're going to need or the dependencies, libraries, for the, the virtual environment to be installed. So let's create a new folder. I'm going to actually close this up. File, new file, and I'm going to save it. Control S. And I'm going to save it in the environments folder. This is going to be my first virtual environment. And let's call it my dash 1.8, whatever. Dot YML. Remember, it always has to finish with dot YML. Save. Great. So now I have this. And as you can see, it's under the environments folder. It's right here. So now we can skip to go to number four. Um, give give your environment a name. This is I'm actually going to copy paste an environment that I already created, so we don't have to create the whole thing over again. Let's go into sample, copy all this. Okay, so this is our document that we just created. So the first thing you want to do in this document is. <clears throat> to give it a name. This is the name you're going to use to, when you activate your, your uh, virtual environment. So I'm going to call it environment or env-1 underscore 8 underscore 0. You can call it whatever you want. And then in um, point number 5, we have to insert in the documents all the dependencies and libraries and packages you want in your environment. So the dependencies, I want Python 3.0 because that is the latest version of, of Python. That, that's stable at least. And I want pip, because pip is going to allow me to install all the other uh, Python libraries. So pip is going to be a dependency. And then look at the formatting. To install the libraries, I got to put pip um, colon 
and then the libraries that I want. So we're going to install NumPy, Pandas. Uh, they're both very necessary. Pandas built off NumPy, Plotly, which is uh, built off of, uh, uh, which is uh, for data visualization, and then Dash, which is built off of Plotly, which again will allow you to create all these cool data visualizations and all these cool graphs and plots um, and dashboards um, all in Python. Um, and we're going to create G uh, Unicorn. G Unicorn will allow you to uh, want to install, not create. GUnicorn will allow you to um, uh, connect with Heroku and put your stuff online if you wanted to create a, a real website um, online. All right, so how did I get these numbers? Why NumPy 1.18? What you have to do is just look at the version you want. If I know I want NumPy, or let's say Pandas, I'm going to go to Pandas in this website, which is below the video. And I'm going to go click here, Pandas, look for the Pandas library, and you'll see all kinds of um, things that pop up. Usually it's the first um, box that comes up, first click, I clicked on it, and I see that the last release was a September 18, 2017. So this is probably not the Pandas that I'm looking for. It's not the right one. In this case, it was not the first box, but it usually is. Let's go to the second box here, Pandas 1.0. And you'll see that their last release was February 5th, 2020. So obviously this is probably the, the latest version. It says it's, it's the latest version and it's uh, active. Um, so uh, this is this is it, right? It's 1.0.0. So what you have to do in pandas is make sure that you do pandas equals equals 1.0.0. Well, we'll do one now because I created this a few weeks ago. Same thing, we'll look, let's look at one more example. Let's look at um, Plotly. So we'll look into Plotly. What number is the latest version? Plotly's latest version seems like it is March 6th, so uh, March 5th, just two days ago, in 2020, and it's 4.5.3. So let's do that. Let's install that. Plotly equals equals 4.5.3. All right, and the same thing you will do with Dash and uh, GUnicorn and all that. So now I save this document and let's go back into our next step. So we finished number five. We have our libraries, packages, and dependencies. Libraries and packages are pretty much the, the same thing. Um, in number six, we initiate a new terminal and make sure you're in the directory where the YML document is located. So the YML documented document is located in the dashboard environments environments folder to create a terminal you just open a new one here and you're in Heroku so let's go Heroku dashboard CD um, what was it it was an environments environments and now we're in the right directory uh, in the terminal and now to install the virtual environment all you have to do is type into the terminal this right let's see here conda and create come on make this bigger conda environment create f any name you want that yml well we already know that my document is not called any name you want my document is called my dash it's right up here one underscore eight dot yml okay so now i can click to install it and see what happens uh, just make note of the fact that sometimes your antivirus or firewall, in my computer, it didn't, it didn't cause me any issues, but in my work computer, uh, the firewall blocked this installation, so I had to, I had to stop the, the, the firewall while I was in, before I actually started installing this. So we'll give this a minute, and I'll come back as soon as this is ready. Perfect. So here you have some um, um, code or some tips. It finished installing and it tells it if you want to activate, this is what you have to um, type in. And to activate, this is what you have to type in. Which takes us into uh, point number eight, go into the directory where you'd like to start writing the code. Okay, so I don't want to write code and my games or my apps inside this environment because this environment folder was only for the, the, um, the environments.yml um, documents. So I'm going to go back to my 
documents and dashboards and I want to start working on a line chart tutorial I want to show people how to create a line chart or whatever so I'm going to go into that folder tutorial and now um, once I'm in where I want to work now I just have to activate my environment because I want to create this tutorial or this graph using a, these this environment that I created right so all I have to do is let's close this activate the environment to activate it you have to go conda activate and then the name of the the name of the uh, environment inside the environment folder so it's not this name it's this name inside here and you don't need this open you can close this you can be in any directory but you have to type it in there so this is a name and now you can see that it's activated because you see on the left that it says in parentheses that you're in there. To deactivate, you just have to go conda deactivate. And you're out. So let's go back in there again. Conda activate. I'm in there. And now <clears throat> I'm ready to go. Now I'm inside the environment and now I can do whatever I want. I can start working on my on my uh, code, I can start you know, writing um, uh, graphs and interactive drop downs and anything I want to do. If I want to add more libraries, if suddenly I'm creating a game and I realize that, shoot, I need, I also need regular expressions, I need to work with regular expressions. So we'll go in here and I'll see, okay, what is the latest version of regular expression, which is called regex? It might be this, the first one. February 2020. So this is probably the latest version and, and the right uh, library. So this is it. So all I have to do, oh, sorry. So it's now now that I, I, I'm not installing from the document YML directly, all I, can, all I have to do is pip install a regex. So I'll copy this. And now I know I'm in my environment. I'm in my environment and that's what I need to do if I want to install a new library. It doesn't matter what directory you can be in whatever folder you can be here you can be you can be in my dash project you can be anywhere you want as long as you are um, inside your environment wherever in your computer then you can just do paste pip install regex and that should install it as well let's take a look should take a minute successfully install regex so now in this um, python uh, in virtual environment i have regex that is probably the latest version is probably to uh, 20 point uh, 2.20. So that's it, guys. Um, you've learned how to create a virtual environment using Anaconda. You've learned how to install the dependencies and libraries you want to install. And you've learned how to update um, any libraries that uh, you want to update. And, and install in your environment. Again, it's really good to have a virtual environment because it allows you to maintain the versions of the um, libraries you're working with so it doesn't break any games or any uh, apps that you create or any dashboards in the future if you're updating all of your Python or all of Anaconda. Um, write me below if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did uh, see any value in it, please click the like button, um, share with friends, subscribe below. So next week you'll learn uh, a different technique and different things uh, you can do with um, virtual environments and dash by plotly and there are several videos here above me and to my left to my right uh, that you can see uh, and if you're interested in knowing how to um, start doing some graphs or everything in python start doing some data visualizations and dashboards and really cool things all in python have a good day